Hi, this is Josh. Recently, I showed a Falcon with a 65 nanometer Jasper GPU installed. Today, I've taken that one step further with a Zephyr, specifically a Zephyr C. Here you can see the two GPUs. This is the original 80 nanometer and this is the 65 nanometer GPU. Now, regarding the other board modifications, while a Falcon was built with support for 65 nanometer chips in mind, a Zephyr was not, and it does not contain a lot of pads that we had to use to install some parts. However, luckily, most of the things were removing or changing the value of a component. So I was able to set the VID just by removing the two resistors. The PCIe and memory calibration was just changing the value and removing resistors, so that was able to be done. It was the other changes that had a problem. I'll put this aside for now. The first one you can see up here is I have tied vGPU PCIe to vGPU core with a little resistor like here. Now I do recommend if you do this that you cover that with some green conformal masking um, to prevent any risk of a short circuit or something, but since this is a development board I'm not bothering with that. And uh, unlike the Falcon, there are no zero ohm resistors to reconfigure. You simply remove the regulator and jump it to the conveniently located vGPU core. The next change I will show you on this iPad tablet because I was not able to get my camera to focus on it well and it's for the FSB calibration. We're supposed to remove a resistor and then install a 40 ohm resistor to tie the cal point which is on here on this pad here to vGPU core. However the pads do not exist for installing this component on the Zephyr so I've improvised here by just running a little jumper wire from that 40 ohm resistor to vGPU core. So now that I've done this the only other thing that was required was installing Jasper bootloaders just like the Falcon because the CB that comes on a Zephyr like the Falcon doesn't know how to set up the, the 65 nanometer GPU. Okay let's plug it in. We'll get HDMI plugged in as well and we will now boot the Zephyr And there we go, you can see it's 100% functional. And as you can see, it is a Zephyr motherboard. We have three phase CPU power. Here is the model number if you're interested in that of the motherboard. It's a Zephyr C, as I said before. And you can see we're up on the dashboard, retail, no mod chip or anything. Now you can do RGH without a problem or JTAG, you just need to remember to use Jasper bootloaders and then everything works. So I'll give you another overview of the motherboard, now it shuts off. Here's the motherboard, I'll go ahead and show you the bottom. There it is. And that modification I showed you on the iPad is right there. So here we have a Zephyr C with a 65 nanometer GPU. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please leave them below.